right? There's pikuach nefesh, there's hefsed merube, there's, there, there are a million different considerations. Does halacha recognize this is a consideration? The, the economic strength of Medinat Yisrael? Is that, is that a halacha consideration to, to, to put into play or not? I mean, you go through the Gemara, there, there are many different considerations when one mitzvah has to bow to the other. But is this a consideration or not? And to, to an extent, uh, this is a new question. You know, as long as Am Yisrael uh, were in Golos, we didn't have to run a country. We didn't have to run a country. So all these questions did not really interest us or bother us. We never had to take this into account. Uh, a small shtetl in Europe, for example, didn't even have to deal with the question, can, can, can we have a medical school and operate on, on Jewish cadavers? There are enough Goyish uh, cadavers around. If we're not doctors, we'll have doctors, don't worry. But in Medinat Israel today, what are we going to say? Let's have all our doctors learn on Chutz Laaretz. We can't have a, a medical system here because there's the Easter of Mituchei Metim. Suddenly, since Am Yisrael came to Eretz Yisrael, we're bombarded with these questions which we never were before. All these different uh, uh, national considerations, how and to what degree do they fit into our halachic discussion? To a great extent, this is really one of the points of contention between the uh, uh, Yahadut Zionit and the Yahadut Haredit. Do we take these type of, of uh, issues into consideration or not? So this is one point I wanted to make about Bichlal, the uh, Hetel Mechira. And of course, at the end of the day, and this is where I'm going to stop, I think uh, Prus Bull is going to have to, it's going to, have to wait. Um, <clears throat> so we're discussing here about the, the Hetel Mechira, and this, and that, and does it work, and doesn't it work, and we have no choice, and Baruch Hashem, we have Hetel Mechira. But at the end of the day, this is, this is a tragedy. We have this beautiful mitzvah, which I think Ravari is going to talk about in a few minutes, about uh, Shemitah and everything that it means and everything that it can give. I mean, sabbatical, who, doesn't, who isn't waiting for sabbatical? Hinges on, on Shemitah. It comes from the same word. A person can, can rest. He can devote himself to things that he wanted to. He can devote himself to spirituality. It's a beautiful mitzvah on paper. And in the reality of today, we missed all that. So we kind of observe Shemitah as a hollow, empty shell, but we shouldn't be too proud or too complacent about it because the essence of Shemitah is, is basically lost. And after everything is said and done, that is a point which, which we should remember. So I hope I've been able to at least briefly outline uh, the basic uh, workings of the Hetel Mechira. And towards the end, a few more uh, wider thoughts about how and why it should be applied. And uh, here I'll end my words. Thank you very much. <clears throat> now, yes, this over to you. Thank you, Rabbi Pinchik. When can we schedule the next, uh, the next session?